That's pretty amazing. Up Digital is an AI text-to-speech service that claims to deliver human-like voices that can be used for podcasts, YouTube videos, and even courses. So in this video, I'm going to put this text-to-speech software to the test. First, we'll take a look at what's on offer and see if their website passes the trust test. Then I'll roll up my sleeves and take the tool for a test so we can see what it does. I'll cover some pros and cons of the software and then I'll get into the pricing. You'll find links and timestamps in the description below this video just in case you need a recap. Okay, let's do this. Let me just say thanks to Tutu Malu for bringing this tool to my attention. Thank you, Tutu. Okay, the Up Digital website at first glance meets my expectations of a SaaS website. It's clean and easy on the eye. However, the five stars thing, it's an image. And the text says 4.9 out of five. But I see five golden stars. And where are these reviews? Let's have some transparency, shall we? Now, I do like this next section. Up Digital have created demos for different users. That's very useful indeed. And we'll have a listen to some of those demos in a moment. Scrolling down, I see another image of five massive golden stars. This time it says raving five star reviews. But again, no link to these mythical reviews. Okay, before we try the tool, let's check out some of these demos, shall we? Let's start with audiobooks. Oh, I'm pleased to see this one here. Greatly extended our knowledge of nature. Galileo had a remarkable aptitude for the invention of instruments designed for philosophical research. That sounds very, very good. Now let's go to podcasting. Let's see what this one sounds like. Are you a musician who's built up a social media presence and now you're looking to make the leap from your home studio into the bona fide recording industry? <laughs> well, she sounds very depressed. That's not the kind of tone that you want to hear on a podcast. Are you a musician? Now let's try YouTube narration. In an all-out effort to clean up the city streets, San Francisco's Public Works Department inaugurated Operation Scrub Down. Well, you could use that for a very serious documentary. Now let's try narration. Flick the horse with his whip, and we dashed away through the endless succession of somber and deserted streets, which widened gradually until we were flying across a broad balustraded bridge. Okay, so this could be applicable to fiction work, which is what I'm interested in. So let's fire up the tool and see what we see, shall we? The Up Digital interface feels very much like a reseller shell. We all know that these AI voices are coming from Google WaveNet and Amazon Polly and sometimes IBM's technologies, so these service providers are middlemen. It just seems that they're all using the same shell and the only customization they can do is change the color. So Up Digital's choice of color is pink. Okay, so let's try out the voices. Now, I've created two test accounts because I ran out of characters on the first one. So I'm going to flip between the two and show you what I found. So by default, I'm set to English UK and the choice of engine is standard or AI voice. I'm going to go with AI voice, of course. And if you've been watching any of my text to speech software reviews, you'll recognize some of these voices. If you remember, Brian sounds very down on himself. So let's just verify that it is the same Brian. Hi, my name is Brian. I will read any text you type here. Hi, Brian. Nice to hear you again. Then we have Ryan, which I also recognize from a previous review. Let's just click and make sure that it is Ryan. Hi, I can read any text you type here. And we have a new one that I don't recognize, Mail James version 3. The two previous versions must have been pretty bad. Let's click on James. I can read any text you type here. Well, James seems in a hurry to speak. Maybe he could give some of that to Brian. Let's try female Amy. Hi, my name is Amy. I will read any text you type here. I'd like to know where they got the voices for the demos that we saw on the first page. And let's try Emma. Hi, my name is Emma. I will read any text you type here. Mia, show us what you've got. Hi, I can read any text you type here. They leave a little bit to be desired. And let's see Charlotte. I can read any text you type here. And Kate? I can read any text you type here. Okay, so let's get on with the first real test. I'm going to use a few lines from one of my horror stories called The Box. So let's copy and paste that in here. And let's click on Mail James. Oops, let's go to AI Voice. Let's click on Mail James and let's hit the preview. Let me have a look inside. John shook his head. Dad, it's not a good idea. Don't be ridiculous. His dad snapped, reaching for his bottle. Yeah, let's stop that there. As expected, not quite right. Now let's give Libby a chance, just while we're here. Let me have a look inside. 
John shook his head. No. Let's try Mia. Let me have a look inside. John shook his head. Let's put a stop to that. Good God. Now, on that note, I did lodge a support ticket with these guys and asked what voice would be suitable for fiction reading because they have narration in one of their demos. And if I click here on the support tickets section, you'll see that here's my ticket, which is still pending. Come on up digital, where's the support? It was over 24 hours ago, I'm just saying. These guys must be busy. So let's try a US voice instead, shall we? And let's see if I can find a narrator for my story. Let's try Matthew, I think I remember Matthew. Let me have a look inside. John shook his head. Dad, it's not a good idea. Don't be ridiculous. His dad said, reaching for... This is a good voice. It's just not right for fiction. Now let's try Amber. Why not? Let me have a look inside. John shook his head. No. Okay, so let's try Ashley. Why not? We're always trying male characters, and that's because I envisaged me reading the stories. But let's try some females. Let me have a look inside. No. Brandon, show us what you've got. Let me have a look inside. John shook his head. Dad... It's not a good idea. No, Brandon, no. Okay, one last try. Let's go with Eric, and then we'll go over to the non-fiction test. Eric, go. Let me have a look inside. John shook his head. Yep, it's not going to work. If I do get an update to my ticket, then I will post it in the comments below this video and give you an update, just in case you're using this software or you're trialing it yourself and you want to turn one of your stories into an audiobook. But now let's try an extract from my book, Perfect Solopreneur. So here we go. I'm going to paste that in there. Let me just go back to English UK and let's go to Mail James. Let's click on preview. The opportunity that exists today for designing your own life is simply incredible. I'll dive... <laughs> that sounds a little bit strange. Let's go to speaking rate and go to medium. Let's try that again. The opportunity that exists today for designing your own life is simply... In mm, not quite. Let's try Ryan. The opportunity that exists today for designing your own life is simply incredible. I'll dive into that in a moment. But what's also incredible is the amount of crap out there designed to make you part with your cash. Yeah, Ryan's good. I remember this from a previous test. I should have set the speaking rate back to default because he does sound a little bit better than that. Now, let me just try Mia while we're here. The opportunity that exists today for designing your own life is simply incredible. I'll dive into that in a moment. She sounds a little bit sad, melancholy even. Let's try Kate. The opportunity that exists today for designing your own life is simply in... Okay, that was weird. Now let's go over to US voices. I'm disappointed with the UK voices, I have to say. Okay, let's go to Matthew and preview. The opportunity that exists today for designing your own life is simply incredible. I'll dive into that in a moment. But what's also incredible is the amount of crap out there designed to make you part with your cash. Okay, that is pretty good. I could listen to that all day long. Very good. Now let's try Brandon. The opportunity that exists today for designing your own life is simply incredible. I'll dive into that in a moment. But what's also incredible is the amount of crap out there designed to make you part with your cash. That's pretty good too, actually. There's no problems with the intonation or anything like that. It's good. Let's go to Eric. The opportunity that exists today for designing your own life is simply incredible. Pretty good. Let's go to Guy. The opportunity that exists today for designing your own life is simply incredible. Yes, there's a guy who's putting his heart into it. Guy, go, go, guy. Let's go to Jacob. The opportunity that exists today for designing your own life is simply... Yeah, after Guy's performance, that's just not going to cut it. Let's go back to Guy. Let me go to Guy and synthesize the file. I can't wait to hear that, actually. It's put me in a good mood. Now, let's also try Kevin version 3. The opportunity that exists today for designing your own life is simply incredible. Let's skip Kevin. Now, let's try Anna. Why not? The opportunity that exists today... Whoa, no. Let's go to Christopher. The opportunity that exists today for designing your own life is simply incredible. That was Elizabeth and not Christopher. Let's try Christopher. The opportunity that exists today for designing your own life is simply incredible. Very good. Let's try Jenny. The opportunity that exists today for designing your own life is simply incredible. I'll dive into that in a moment. That was perfect. Now let's try Monica here. 
The opportunity that exists today for designing your own life is simply incredible. You could speed that voice up a little bit and just get it right. So let's go to Jenny and synthesize that. So we're going to listen to two files, Guy and Jenny. Here's Guy. The opportunity that exists today for designing your own life is simply incredible. I'll dive into that in a moment. But what's also incredible is the amount of crap out there designed to make you part with your cash, exploiting your desire to be in the driving seat of your own life. I'm talking about systems, software tools, and training programs that are usually presented as the thing that separates you from the... Ooh, he said as the thing that separates you. It should be the thing that separates you. Let's go to Jenny. The opportunity that exists today for designing your own life is simply incredible. I'll dive into that in a moment. But what's also incredible is the amount of crap out there designed to make you part with your cash, exploiting your desire to be in the driving seat of your own life. I'm talking about systems, software tools, and training programs that are usually presented as the thing that separates you from the... Okay, I don't know what's going on with these AI voices, but they both said separates you instead of separates you. That's a bit disappointing. They both read the paragraph perfectly. It was just that one word. Mm. Okay, so I've just typed in a sentence here and I'm going to highlight the word separate and look at the advanced effects and see what I can actually do here. I can't add the sound of breathing to make it better or add a strong break. Let's go to say as and let's see what this does. Say as characters. Okay, let's see what that does. As the thing that separates you from success. No separates, 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 no. Let's try Brandon and this is one last time. As the thing that separates you from success. Okay, I gave up. But I think it's almost, almost there. Now let me just touch on the pros and cons while I'm here. On the plus side, there are some extra controls for voice manipulation, which is something that I look for with these tools. However, they're not very intuitive and whether they work or not is a different story. I also like the fact that there's a support link where you can view and manage your tickets. Whether you get an answer or not is a different story too. And I also like the fact that you can see how many characters you have left at the top of the screen. On the downside, there isn't much to say. This is a reseller shell, so it is what it is. Perhaps the voices could be better organized, but that's probably not something that they control. That said, Lovo AI does have a different interface, which they say they control. And in my Lovo AI review, I talked about the amount of choices and controls you have over voice styles and intonation. You can see that review here, and I'll put a link to that video in the description. And by the way, I do this because I'm not sure what it's going to show. It's somewhere up here. Now let's quickly talk about pricing. There is a monthly package for $47. And what strikes me here is that you can convert unlimited characters for both the neural and standard voices. That's pretty amazing. That means unlimited. It's eat all you can or eat all you want. For $47 a month to have no limits and create as many audios as you want, I'm impressed. So well done on the pricing. Very, very well done. I have to say it's the first time I've seen a text-to-speech software tool like this giving unlimited use for this kind of money. Now there is also the ability to create a free account. That way you can test the tool and make sure it's right for you before you commit to buying. Now this tool currently has a lifetime offer in the AppSumo marketplace. You pay a one-time fee of $69 and it's yours forever. Unlimited use, remember? You'll find a link to that in the description below this video. And if you've missed the deal, then do subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss any announcements like this when I make them. And if you have any questions or you have any tools that you use that you want to share with me, please leave a comment. Sub, and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>